Greetings, everyone, and welcome to a special Comic Book Wednesday update. Got a few uh, new DVDs and Blu-rays for the comic book movie and TV show collection, so let's take a look at them today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. All right, so first up, uh, just this uh, past week, we got the latest edition in the ever-growing pantheon of DC animated films with Justice League versus The Fatal Five. And this, of course, has the nice, shiny, bumpy slipcover, which you know I love so much. Very nice, very nice indeed. So there we go. And this is part of the... Uh, DC Animated Cinematic Universe series, so, you know, make sure you watch all those in order, because there is an order to them. Um, yeah, I'm actually planning to finally get caught up on these over the course of the summer, so uh, look for a ton of reviews, hopefully. So, yeah, stay tuned. Next up, got a pair of shows here that I've been wanting to get for the uh, Filmation collection, actually, for quite some time. This one in particular is really notable. For 1967, we have The New Adventures of Superman. Now, there is a second volume to this, which contains seasons two and three. So this is the first season. 36 episodes on two discs. My God, they crammed 18 episodes per disc? Are they crazy? Are they just, like, compressing it into a... No, it's uh, it's actually... Uh, the, the, the episodes are actually half episodes. They're, like, 11 minutes long. So 36 episodes is actually the equivalent of 18 half-hour episodes. But, uh, yeah, so this is notable because uh, this was done in 1967. This is actually the first animated series that Filmation ever did. They were just starting out looking for stuff to produce, and DC approached them to do this series, and uh, they didn't know quite what they were doing yet, and they sort of quoted a price, and DC said, can you do an animated series for this much? And Lou Scheimer and Norm Prescott are just like, sure, yes, yes we can. And they quickly discovered that this much, however much it was, was not very much. And, um, well, that's kind of how Filmation <laughs> developed a lot of their limited animation techniques, learning to, you know, reusing shots and cells and backgrounds and stuff to save money. Because when they made this Superman show, they didn't have a lot of money to do it. And obviously they wanted to get it done because DC Comics, big contract. So, yeah, anyway, DC was quite happy with the results and gave them more shows to do they were uh in the um i'm not sure if it started off with just i think it just started off with superman and then in the second year it expanded into the superman and batman hour where they had the adventures of batman series which i showed in another update a while ago uh 1968 and then they also had and which was also like 10 minute 10 11 minute episodes and then they also had a bunch of other dc superheroes such as Aquaman, yeah, so Aquaman was one of the other DC heroes uh, that got, I guess, enough episodes to be kind of paired off onto its own show, so again, same thing, 36 episodes, two discs, and there we go, so this is every episode that they made, they just did the one season of Aquaman, same with Batman, Batman was the same length, it was, uh, actually, Batman was a little longer, they had uh, 30... I can't remember exactly what the number was, but it was anyway, it was 17 half-hour episodes. So Superman, Aquaman, Batman all kind of got paired off into their own shows there and uh, slightly rebranded just to be their own individual shows, whereas uh, the other DC heroes, they didn't do enough episodes to do that, so they have a couple of volumes of the Filmation Superheroes collection, which uh, comprises the rest of those, which uh, I still need to get those. But uh, it has all the other superheroes that they did. But uh, but pretty cool. I mean, this one was pretty notable, not only be, being uh, Filmation's first series, but also because uh, it was the first time Superman had appeared in animated form since the old cartoons in the 30s and 40s by Max and Dave Fleischer. So um, it was the first ever animated Superman TV show. Uh, prior to that, of course, you know, you know about 10 
year, ten or so years earlier, we had the uh, I think it was the George Reeves series or Steve Reeves, it wasn't Christopher Reeves? It was one of the Reeves. Anyway, the <laughs> the, the the live action TV series which ran for a few years and was really popular. And then you know a few years before that, we had movie serials and we had the the animated shorts, of course. So this was the first animated Superman on TV. And then of course from this time forward. This series continued for a while for a couple more seasons. Then, of course, Hanna-Barbera picked up the license for the Super Friends, which was basically their take on the Justice League. And Super Friends ran for like 10 years, um, you know, across various series and stuff like that. But uh, that's another story for another time. So, anyway, new edition and a couple of classics from the 60s for the, uh, for the collection, for both the superhero and the filmation collection. Um, yeah, because previously, as you guys know, I got all the BCI Eclipse stuff. BCI Eclipse, of course, being long gone, but I got all the stuff that they put out. And then uh, there's still a few shows that were owned by other companies, such as the DC Heroes ones are owned by Warner. Tarzan is owned by the estate of Edgar Rice Burroughs. Uh, the Star Trek series is, of course, owned by Paramount. And I think that covers pretty much everything between those and the ones that BCI Eclipse put out. And uh, yeah. Anyway, some cool new additions to the DC Superheroes collection. Most welcome. Lots more to go, but, uh, you know, these ones just kind of randomly showed up at the local Best Buy, and they were pretty cheap, so I thought, hey, yeah, I'll, I'll grab those. You know, sp sp saves, da, 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 saves me the trouble of ordering them through Amazon, and then I can be sure I don't get them smashed up in a pub bubble envelope, you know. Always fun when that happens. Anyway... That's it for this uh, Comic Book Wednesday update. Just a short one. Thought I'd ramble a little bit because it's so short. And that's it. So we'll see you next time. So big thanks to you for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Be sure to uh, catch me on Twitch. I stream over there just about every day. I'm actually streaming right now. And there's uh, about almost 30 people watching me make this video. Hi, everybody. Anyway, catch you next time. Until then, sayonara. Greetings, everyone. Well, it's another...